Okay, hey guys. Um, cheering in fire marks here. Okay. So, I have gotten a lot of great tips from uh, Warhammer 40k and Tyranid players. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to start a 3,000 point army and blah blah blah. But, actually, I got a response that I wasn't really... It's kind of like, whoa. I didn't know that. Um, and it turns out that um, they said it would be easier to just kind of ease into it, which I kind of knew, but I said, oh, why not, just, but, um, see, that's one of the disadvantages of Tyranids, is that most of their, um, troops, units, whatever, um, are actually not that many points, so you have to buy a lot more stuff than, say, like, Space Marines, like, Space Marines, you can just, like, buy, like, you know, 200 bucks worth of, like, models and stuff, and you have, like, a, like, a 3,000, 2,000 point army, literally. Tyranids, if you buy, like, 200, you know, dollars of units, you're only gonna have, like, a 1,000 to 1,500 points. I know that sounds odd, but it's true. So, that's the one disadvantage with Tyranids, but they're amazing, so that's why I like them. And they look, the card effects just looks amazing. But anyway, um, so I've decided to go with just a thousand point army to start off, um, because I guess, you know, it's easier. And then second of all, um, I have a couple friends at my school, um, and, um, most of them have like chaos space marines and they only have like a, um, they only have chaos, so... Yeah, so it'd be a lot easier. So I'm just gonna kind of make a um, army for like a, against like chaos space marines to um, do that, and um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I just kind of wanted to update you on that, but I also have something else. Have something else. I set up. can see that right there that is my new kind of paint station I haven't put on an order for mini wargaming yet but I'm getting set up and I actually I found these like old paints they're not like games workshop they're like other paints and I decided to uh, start making some terrain and this is really cool This is really cool. That is really hard to see. Um, basically, you can see that it's a um. I actually found it's a um wireless one of those like wireless disc things, and I just decided to turn it into a um a um. Um, linking out, um, those, uh, Tyranid Towers, um, Capillary Towers, yes, that's, uh, Capillary Towers, and, um, and then, but at the bottom it's got, like, a dish thing, so I decided just to do, like, a small digestion pool, at the bottom, yeah, so that's that, um, and I basically just painted it. It's actually a really nice paint. Like, it's a little paint, but it's really nice. Because, like, it's not really, really red, but it's pretty red. So, and that's, like, the top. That's pretty cool. And then I use cardboard for the base. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. It's not amazing, but it works. It's okay. Uh, it's definitely good for my first piece of train. So, oh, yeah, and then the back. I did it on yeah, cameras. Here we go. I did an orange. That yeah. So, yeah. I know you're gonna say it sucks, but whatever. Um so yeah. So that's that. I just wanted to show you that. So I'm probably going to get my army in about 
month of June. So, just because pyramids cost kind of a lot of money. Um, and most of you will disagree with me on that, but I, I think they cost a lot of money because their units are not nearly as much as, say, you know, Space Marines, um, like Elder. Elder are so easy to get into. I mean, they're kind of hard to paint stuff, but, and I'm not like a know it all, you know, but they have, you have such a small army, but it's so powerful, so all you really need to do is buy, like, I mean, no, whatever. I'm just saying, I think Eldar are a lot easier. A lot of armies are a lot easier to get into than, say, Tyranids. But, Tyranids look amazing, and I like their gameplay, and that's why I'm getting into that army. So, I know I keep babbing on, but that's what I'm planning to do. So, um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, um, yeah.